but spotter TJ Major's responsibilities are a little more complicated than that. Perched with a bird's eye view above the racetrack, Majors instructs Earn Hardware to be and which gaps to shoot. But he also juggles the movements of the other 39 stock cars out there, including when they pit, while they're circling at 200 miles per hour with three voices, Earnhardt's, Ives and a NASCAR officials, sometimes simultaneously talking to him on the radio. He's the ultimate multitasker. You're expected to see everything at every point in time, Majors told for the win. If somebody blows a tire, you're expected to see it when it happens. When somebody spins out, you're supposed to see it as it's happening. But sometimes, it's hard to see the whole track, and it's challenging. You're trying to clear a guy off a corner within two feet, and it could be a crucial point in the race, where he needs that part of the race track. The off of turn four is pretty tough at most places, when you've got cars running high, running low, and they come up off the corner, and they need you. So you've got to be really precise with your calls right then. Majors has been spotting for Earnhardt since late 2007, and he compared his job to an offensive coordinator's. Ives gives the team a game plan, and Majors and the Hendrick Motorsports pit crew execute it to the best of their abilities. His top priority is keeping Earnhardt safe and out of trouble, but he's also trying to protect the car. If the 88 makes contact with another driver of the wall, it makes the pit crew members' jobs harder because they'll have to salvage whatever is left of it. Communication is critical to success. Having worked together for a decade and also being best friends, Majors joked that sometimes he and Earnhardt can read each other's minds before one of them says something on the radio. He knows exactly what I'm looking for, Earnhardt told USA Today Sports in 2015. I don't ever have to say, quit doing it that way, this is what I want, stop using that language or that terminology, I don't understand. He doesn't bug me. He doesn't do things that get me irate or get me off my game. The longer we've worked together, the closer we've been as friends. He knows exactly what I need. When I'm listening to him, it's like I can see the race happening behind me without even looking in the mirror. That's so helpful. But the hardest aspect of spotting is battling the unknown, because plenty of drivers wreck simply because they're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Is this guy gonna blow up tire? Is this gonna happen right in front of you? Majors explained. It's just the unknown. You always want to be in control. When you don't have control is when you get nervous and you're not comfortable. I can't stand when I can't see my car. That happens at road courses, like Watkins Glen International in New York or Sonoma Raceway in California, when the track isn't an oval, and the team utilizes a second spotter. But Majors faces similar challenges at larger tracks, like Indianapolis Motor Speedway, where the spotters aren't high enough to view the whole 2.5-mile oval, and at Talladega Super Speedway, which is NASCAR's longest track at 2.66 miles. NASCAR is headed to Talladega this weekend for the Alabama 500. Even though it's one of Earnhardt's best tracks, he enters Sunday's race tied with Jeff Gordon for second most all-time wins with six, behind Dale Earnhardt Sr.'s 10, majors call the Super Speedway its own beast. Including the Alabama 500, Earnhardt only has six more races to get a win in his last Cup Series season before retiring. But experience is on his side. He's obviously really good already, but you give a guy like him a little more info that he can process, and we have a really good connection like that, Major said. He knows what I'm saying, what I'm telling him. He knows where to position the car from what I'm saying, and that's not something you can just put anybody up there.